Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yes, hello everyone. So we are going to cover today in our video uh, the, the, the problems, uh, the half of the problems, uh, the, the, the rest of the half. We already saw about the first half that were related to the purging cycles using vacuum purging, pressure purging, and the sweeping. And we saw which one is more amount of nitrogen and which one is faster and how to calculate the time for sweeping. So all that was taken in from 7.5 to 7.15. Now, we want to cover the rest that are related to sprinklers, flammability diagrams, and some other calculations that will also need more than one uh, information and knowledge from different chapters. Okay, so now 7.27. So 7.27 tells us determine the fire water requirements, the gallons per minute, uh, number of sprinkler heads, pump horsepower to protect an inside process area 2,000 feet square. Assume that sprinkler nozzles have a 0.5 inch orifice and that uh, nozzle pressure is 75 PSI uh, gauge. Okay, so th th this is what, what, what we have from information. So what do we need? We need, it is called fire water requirements. So we need how much amount we need. And if we know how much amount we need, we can say how many sprinkler heads we want. If you know how many sprinkle hairs we want, we, we can say how much power do we need. So if, if, if you go back, yeah, so that is 727. So what do I have? I have something that, that, that that's like that. So I have about 2,000 feet square. Okay, so that is my 2,000 feet square. And what, what do I need to do is that it's like I have my system here and I'm trying to design a splinker system uh, sitting at the top where it pours uh, it pours on water. I don't know how I don't know how many nozzles I need uh, uh, right now, but I, I know that it needs to cover this area here. It needs to cover this area here. So it needs to cover that area here. Okay. So what that is what it needs to cover. And uh, th this these number of nozzles, okay, these number of nozzles that uh, we have here, uh, it is going to be attached to what? It's going to be attached to a pump, right? And this pump is just pushing in a certain amount that goes through all these nozzles, right? The sprinkler this, this is the sprinkler system that we have. And now what's the horsepower? What is the pump horsepower that I need for that sprinkler systems. So uh, what, what I actually need is, 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 is just the amount. I need the, the amount here inside. And so uh, simply I'm saying that how many gallons per minute? Please tell me how much gallons per minute is needed. So how many gallons per minute is needed? Okay. And for one nozzle, for one nozzle that I have here, how, how many gallons per minute? And if I know, how much gallons per minute is needed and I divided it by the, the by by the gallons uh, per minute I get from one nozzle I will know the number of nozzles needed right a number of nozzles needed and now going back to the pump the pump is the is the, is, uh, is the power okay it's horsepower which is equal to the pressure multiplied by the flow rate Okay, so if I know the gallons per minute, okay, all what I need to know is the pressure, and I already have from the problem what is the pressure, so I can know what is uh, the the uh, the horse uh, power needed in that sense. Okay, great. So let's start. Let's start and see how much amount do I need here. So how much amount I need here, which is exactly this, like this, uh, how much amount I need here. And then I'm going to calculate the number of nozzles. So how much amount do I need? Uh, the, the main table that you need to use here is, is table 77. So that is the table that you, you need to use. You need to use 77, this table. Okay, for sprinkler systems. Okay, for sprinkler systems. So this is what you need to use. And let's go now for uh, table 77 and have a look at it. So that is table 77. What it talks about 
where it talks about fire protection for chemical plants. We already explained that part where it explains the types of sprinkler systems. However, we did not cover that this part here where we are talking about what? We are talking about uh, how is the, 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 uh, the, the number of guanines per minute are identified as a standard from the NFPA. They, they said that if you want to cover one feet square of floor area, what do you need? You need 0.5 gallons per minute, okay? Uh, for pumps, again, it's 0.5 gallons per minute per feet square. For vessels or whatever closed storage place that you want to cover, what do you need is 0.25 gallons per feet square, 0.25 gallons per minute per feet square for every area of feet square. And again, you go for a vertical structure in a 0.25, but for, for horizontal structure, you need 0.1. Uh, in our case, what, what, what we have here, if you go back to 727, uh, to protect an inside process area, it didn't say exactly that, how does this inside process area is, but if I would consider that as a vessel, <clears throat> then I would say that I will use the 0.25 gallons per minute per feet square, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say that now this 2,000 feet square, just to know how much amount I need, I'm going to multiply it by, I need 0.25 gallons per minute for every feet square. And by that, it's telling me that you need about 500 gallons per minute, okay? So it tells me that you need 500, ga 500 gallons per minute. Well. Now I know that I need how much, I'll write it here, so I need 500 gallons per minute. Well, how much every nozzle gives me per minute? So you go back to table 7-7 and it tells you that if you have a 0.5 inch orifice, and this is what we have by the way, huh? it says 0.5 inch orifice with a pressure of 75 PSI gauge. So if I, you have 0.5 inch orifice of a PSI of 75 you would expect to get what discharge rate you're going to expect a discharge rate in gallons per minute of 50 so you will get 50 gallons per minute okay you will get 50 gallons per minute if you have this orifice spray of that pressure so going uh, to our question here so what do we need here one one nozzle will give me how many? It will give me 50 gallons per minute. Okay, so now it became clear that if I go and divide 500, the total amount that I need over 50, which is from one nozzle, I'm going to get 10 nozzles. So I need 10 nozzles, okay? So this is what I'm going to do here again. So the number of nozzles that I need here in my system will be 500 divided by 50 to tell me that I need 10 nozzles. Okay, 10 nozzles. Great, so uh, I, I got my answer. Uh, so what? how many I need? I need 10 nozzles. And now if I want to calculate the power, the power which is equal to the pressure multiplied by uh, the, the flow rate and the amount that I need here. Actually, it's, it's not only the flow, it's the, it's the, it is the flow total flow rate that you need, which is 500 gallons per minute, right? This is what you need here. And the pressure that you need is 75 PSI gauge. And all what you need to do here is, is now wor work on the, the just the units. And working on the units, just to put things that are uh, to fit each other. So I'm just doing my units to put it in feet square. So this is pound per inch square, okay? The PSI is pound per inch square. This is why inch is at the top there. And this is 500 gallons per minute. Of course, you need to fix things. One minute is 60 seconds. And I have one feet cube to change all of my gallons into feet cube because I have the other side is feet square. Uh, so this is what I have. And, and you will find out uh, what, what would be the answer would be equal to 12032 12, 12, that is in feet pound force per second 
and and I know that's strange to look at some unit which looks like that but we are more concerned now about the horsepower and to get the horsepower all what you need to do now is to divide by 550 so if you divide this by 550 you will get your horsepower and that will be about 22 horsepower so you need about 22 horsepower here beautiful right it, it, it's really great so we need about 22 horsepower and that is considered at 100 percent efficiency because if it was less efficient the power you need to divide so for example you're saying that is 80 percent efficiency all right you have 80 percent efficiency so if you have 80 percent efficiency you need of course uh, to to divide this 22 divided by point a which will give you about uh, i would say that is about 27.5 so you're talking about 28 horsepower okay so this is this is the problem and this is the way how we calculate the number of nozzles and the number of uh, the pump that you need uh, for this problem again you have 728 is exactly the same problem here it just uh, uh, it says that to repeat it using a different pressure and different uh, gallons per minute now if you think of it here it did not tell you what it's 0.5 inch orifice but you already can know that you have here 100 psi gauge and 58 gallons per minute in 728 you go to table 277 you can see here 100 psi gauge and 58 gallons per minute so you know that it comes from here okay but if it didn't tell you what is the opening it needs to give you the whole information for you so that you can find the answer okay great so that was for uh, 728 as well. So the next question that we are trying try, uh, to target here is 729. So in 729, it says that determine the water requirement gallons per minute and number of nozzles for a deluxe system required to protect a 10,000 gallon storage tank that has a diameter of 15 feet, use a 0.5 inch nozzle with a nozzle pressure of 35 and the nozzle pressure of 35 you will see later from table 77 how much gallons per minute it will give us per nozzle and assume that the vessel contains a reactive solvent okay it just tells us reactive solvent that means that this is why we are trying to use the sprinkler system here uh, to put off things that if we have the, uh, the, the, the heat is really increasing inside the vessel uh, which could be out of control so what do we have here so it wants us to do what to calculate the gallons per minute and the number of no, uh, uh, of nozzles so this is what it wants actually it didn't tell us to find the, the pressure uh, the, the power uh, we, we, we could have thought of that whatever so it wants us to now to uh, calculate the number of nozzles of course uh, to calculate the number of nozzles and uh, what I need is the total gallons water requirement okay I need the water requirement how much water I'm requiring if you can recall uh, the equations that we have used so I have here uh, problem 727 I think so yep you are 729 so we did we don't need the power in this case but I'm saying that if you can remember that we said the power is equal to the pressure uh, multiply the the, the 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 flow rate okay multiply the flow rate of, of water that gives me of all the water required okay it tells me how much uh, water that I I totally need and then uh, uh, how to get this number of uh, total water required what I need is that surface area right if you can recall again we had the surface area in problem 27 of 2000 feet square and then we took from table 7 that how much I need uh, gallons per minute right how much I need gallons per minute per every feet square uh, that was that was for problem one that was for problem 727 however for now this problem here is, what I have is a vessel actually and, and within uh, this vessel what I'm trying to do here I'm going to, I'm trying to have a sprinkler system that is around uh, uh, and this sprinkler system is, is, is like spraying I'm having that it's spraying from all of the sides just to make sure that it is cooling down because the reactant uh, that is inside the reactor here 
it is really very hot and and it's very reactive and if the high height goes even higher it could heat up this the, these walls and it could be dangerous and then we could have leave if that is also very volatile and it's, it explodes okay so what we're trying to have here is the sprinkler system here and talking about the sprinkler system uh, so so the, the the same idea what I need is what what I need is the surface area what I need is the surface area here and if I have the surface area I'll multiply it by the amount uh, that I get from table uh, table 7 7 per feet square so uh, so let me say I will calculate the surface area then I will calculate it from table 7 7 so what does table 7 7 say well in this case we what would what do we have we have a vessel we have a vessel right a reactor so which we would say that is like 0.25 gallons per, me, uh, per minute per feet square of exposed surface including top and bottom so this is what what I have here and actually if you see also the horizontal structure we have here uh, steel of surface area uh, we we also have 0.1 gallons per minute per feet square so uh, it, it depends on us that uh, should we consider only this amount of 0.25 gallons per minute per minute of feet square which includes also the top and bottom or we should say that my vessel is also horizontal okay uh, it's not horizontal it's vertical oh my god <laughs> it's vertical so we do need 0.25 gallons per minute here uh, but uh, do we have any horizontal part? I, I, I don't think so. But if we do have, uh, just to consider that we, we worst case scenario, and I'm just getting worried about is this uh, 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 is this good enough? Just to consider the worst case scenario here, I'm going to add 0.1 gallons per minute. Okay, so I'm going to say that I will have 0.35 gallons per minute per feet square. So here I'm going to multiply it with 0.35 gallons per minute. I need this amount for every feet square. Okay, I need this amount per every feet square. And and uh, what I need, of course, now is the surface area multiplied by how much I need per every feet square. And then I'm going to say now how many nozzles I need. I need the water requirement, the total water requirement. Okay. And, 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 I can, and I, as you have seen from our previous problems, uh, if we calculate how much total requirement I need, and uh, uh, you just need to uh, divide it by 0.35 for every nozzle to get the, the, the number that you have. So let's do it now, step by step. So what do we need? Again, just to get a catch of the problem, let me go to the problem again. So it wants us to, uh, it gave us that we have a 10,000 gallon st storage tank and the, the, the diameter is 15 feet. So I have the diameter. Uh, so it is horizontal in the sense that it is very, very, uh, very horizontal. Uh, the, the, it's, it has, has a big diameter. Using a 0.5 inch uh, in nozzle. So I have that with a nozzle pressure of 35 PSI gauge. Uh, so we want to find the, the gallons per minute water requirements. So the first thing I can see here that I have pressure of 35 PSI gauge. So if I go to table 77, if I have a 35 PSI, uh, every nozzle will give me, this 0.5 inch nozzle will give me how much? It will give me 34 gallons per minute. It will give me 34 gallons per minute. So I have an idea now of, of how much that I have. I have for every nozzle here, for every nozzle, I have 34 gallons per minute uh, per nozzle. Okay, per nozzle. Okay, so I will know how many nozzles if I know the total amount. And how to know the total amount? I will know it now from here. Okay, I will know this total amount from here. So all, all what I need to do now is to, to work on the surface area, okay? So let's work on the surface area. <clears throat> what is the surface area of this bit here? Uh, the surface area, if you can you see that we have uh, the, the, uh, the, the bottom and the top, and of course you have something like 
uh, a cylinder in this case so you it's like you have a circle and you just multiply it uh, of course it's a surface area not a volume so it's like this surface area and it is it is all over going from the bottom till uh, till the top so what is the surface area the surface area here is equal to a is equal to 2 pi r h plus pi r square okay so this is what we have it's like i have uh, i have the the pi r uh, the pi r multiplied by the h and then i have the surface area of this uh, of this uh, 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 of the circle so pi r so it's like a circle of for all of this h and then i have the top and the bottom which is pi r square so I, i'm just giving you uh, how to do the calculations and now i just need to multiply and find the surface area so this is equal to 2 pi r h plus pi r square. Now, do we have the diameter? Yes, we do have the diameter. And we know that the diameter is, uh, is, is equal to uh, 15 feet. So we know that the radius will be 15 over 2 is equal to 7.5 feet. So we do have the radius here. What about the height? Do we have the height or not? Actually, we don't have the height, but we already can find the height. Why? Because we already have the volume and the volume is equal to pi r square edge so you can calculate the height in this case and the volume was 10,000 gallons and if you just do your conversion to convert that into uh, uh, into gallons and uh, that's 7.48 gallons uh, for every feet cube so I, if I, I, I'll just remove the divide I already did the conversion like that and you have pi r square and r we already said that is 7.5 square so the height is equal to 7.57 feet okay so now i have the height and i have uh, my numbers here the radius so all i need to do is to say that to calculate this is 2 pi r 7.5 into 7.57 plus pi into 7.5 square so the surface area is equal to 533 feet square okay so that is the surface area and after knowing the surface area we said we are going to multiply it by 0.35 right 0.35 so we have now 533 multiplied by 0.35 again why did i do this is 533 feet square that is the surface area that i want to cover and based on table 7 7 we it tells us that you will have from that nozzle point if, if you have this this pressure uh, that was given to us okay if you have if you have the pressure of what is it 35 psi gauge so if you have 35 psi gauge you will get 34 gallons per minute okay uh, so did you see this you will get 34 gallons per minute okay sorry so how much it will cover it will cover 0.35 per squ uh, feet square so that is 0.25 point plus 0.1 so this is what i will cover i will cover 0.3 uh, to cover every feet square i need 0.35 gallons per minute how much feet square do i have i have 533 feet square so the amount of gallons per minute or the water requirement okay the the water requirement here the water requirement that i need is going to e, e be equal to 533 multiplied by 0.35 to give me 186.6 gallons per minute because this is the amount that i need now if this is the amount that i need per minute and what i have every nozzle every nozzle will give me 34 gallons per minute per nozzle it means that i will need about 7.3 nozzles and of course i need to round this that will be equal to that will be equal to about eight nozzles so i need eight nozzles so what is the answer i need eight nozzles what is the water requirement about 186.6 about 190 gallons per minute 
And that was it. That was it for this problem. And I think so that we tried to cover it with, with, with the idea of how to calculate the number of nozzles and sprinklers. Okay, so this is the part of the nozzles and how to calculate the, the how, uh, how many nozzles we need and how much is the water requirement to cover that area that we have here. If you go to 730, it's very similar of how to solve it. It's only asking of one more information here uh, that, that, that uh, about the power. It added something here that assume that there's a friction loss from the last sprinkler head to the pump is 50 PSI and that the nozzles uh, is, uh, is, uh, and that the nozzle's 0.5 inch orifice are 75 PSI gauge. So what you're trying to say here is that you have a, a loss head of 50 PSI and you're providing 75 PSI gauge, which means that if you want a pressure pump to pump, you need 75 plus 50. Okay, the pump, we need to overcome that 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 loss so you need a pump of 75 the psi gauge uh, considering 100 percent efficiency okay plus the, uh, the 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 50 psi that means you need about 125 psi pressure and then you need to multiply of course this by what by the water requirement how to get the water requirement we have 150 multiplied by 150, so that is like uh, the, the, the area. And then I'm going to say, if this is the area, how much do I need? I, know I need to go now to table 77 to, to see how much gallons per minute I need to, to, to cover uh, that part here. And that's it. I think so I already solved it, so let, let's go and solve it. Okay, so 730, 730. So uh, what, what did I say? I said that the water requirement that I need uh, by knowing how much area, okay? I need 150 to 150 feet square. And if I go to table seven, seven, if I just look at my problem here, we have, uh, it didn't tell me what system it is exactly, okay? Uh, and actually if it didn't tell us what system, we will take the standard thing that of 0.5 okay pumps and related equipment or source of fire uh, we just need a, a 0.5 of floor area of projected area so I'm going to take it as 0.5 so I need this much of feet square and to cover this much of feet square from that nozzle I will have 0.5 grams per minute for every feet square and this will give me an amount of 11,250 uh, 11, gallons per minute now, this is what I will get. Uh, this is what I need as a water requirement to cover all this area. What, what does one nozzle uh, uh, give me? Okay, so uh, it depends on what is the question. Does it ask us for how many nozzles? I don't think so, that was the question. It's just telling me uh, the number of sprinkle heads. Yes, it's telling us, so it needs the number of sprinkle heads. So definitely it needs the number. So to calculate the number, what do you need to do? We go and see how many gallons per minute per nozzle. How many gallons per minute per nozzle? How many gallons per minute per nozzle I need? So how to know how many gallons per minute per nozzle? I will go and see what is the pressure here. The pressure is 75 uh, PSI gauge. <clears throat> 75 PSI gauge and if you go down here, 75 you have 50 gallons per what per minute you have 50 gallons per minute so i'm going to divide it by 50 gallons per minute and then it's going to give me the number of nozzles to be 225 nozzles okay 225 nozzles okay now after i have finished i need to calculate the power the power which is equal to the pressure that i have into the water requirement okay the flow rate that's of, of that water requirement that i have okay and 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 actually here the, the the issue is over the pressure why because we have a drop in pressure so instead of saying that i have a 75 psig and i have a drop of 50 so i need 75 plus 50 and of course all what i need to do is just to correct it uh, i mean not correct it just to do a conversion here 
and the flow rate requirement that I already identified was 11,250 gallons per minute and I need just to fix up uh, to say that I have for every minute I have 60 seconds and I change this feet cube uh, the, the, the gallons into feet cube so this is what I have if you do your multiplication if you do your multiplication you're going to find out that this is equal to uh, to uh, 451,200 feet pound force per second and you just divide it by 550 so you're going to divide that by 550 to get the amount of horsepower and that will be about 8200 horsepower and still that is also considering that 100% efficient efficiency so if it was at lower efficiency you will need what you need much more horsepower uh, for that you need much more okay so that was 730 I was not really planning to solve it, but I think so. I just solved it through on uh, when we went through the problem. I was planning to keep it as an assignment. Okay, that, that makes you happier. So what else do we have from questions now? I think we have, uh, we, we have come to, to, the, to the end of the sprinkler problems and, and, and the number of uh, nozzles and so on. And we are going to get to uh, the problems that has something to do with the flammability and, and, and because of that, uh, we will end here at, at, at this video here. And we are going to start in our next video covering the part uh, that is related to the flammability and, and that, that interesting stuff. Uh, so till then, uh, Dr. Bassam Al Hamad, solving problems with you from chapter seven. Uh, from the book Chemical Process Safety uh, Fundamentals of Applications by Kroll and Lover. Thank you very much and see you then. Massa.